Brexit has obviously destroyed our relationship with Europe to a large extent. But last week, those who'd like to see a closer relationship had a bit of a fillip with the news that Britain is rejoining the Horizons Science Research Programme. Hooray. Rachel, in a nutshell, what does Horizon do? It funds science. Yeah. Do you want a slightly longer answer? <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, it's a kind of collaborative scientific programme uh, where scientists from across Europe and, and now the, the UK, they pool funding and then the each, co- each country contributes funding and then the centre um, assigns it to, to various projects and it is it allows scientists uh, across Europe to, to collaborate. And it, like prior to Brexit, we were a really key part of it. Like we were, the UK was not just um, a member, but was kind of a leading member and had a lot of influence over what projects got funded. And we wanted to cut all ties with Europe. So, you know, we, we came out of it and we've been out of it for coming up to, to three years and, and now we're going back in. So, yay, but I didn't see anyone during the EU referendum being like, vote, leave, stop collaborating with European scientists. Like that wasn't a thing that was, I think, integral to the to the leave campaign. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some people voted leave because they were like, those pesky EU scientists, I don't want to work with them. No, well, we didn't hear anything about Northern Ireland either. And well, why didn't we rejoin it earlier? <laughs> Because of Northern Ireland, essentially, mm. it was like the, the EU didn't want us back while the the Northern Ireland issue was unresolved. And this is like for some for some balance. Um, this is one of the things that I think Rishi Sunak has actually done really well by resolving the the issues over Northern Ireland and the Northern Ireland Protocol, the Windsor Framework earlier this year, and just like getting EU officials and negotiators to talk to us like grown-ups and to say like come on it's a science program you benefit from having us as part of it we'd quite like to join it can we not be like children you can't play with my science program (laughs) um and they agreed after the sheer childishness of the boris johnson era when i think just the level of insults flying around the idea that like anytime anything went wrong in britain it was like blame the eu blame the the french as if they couldn't hear us and then they went well fine don't join them We're like no, 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 no that was for our newspapers that wasn't for you guys to hear and i think rishi sunak managing to resolve that and negotiate grown up to grown up has actually been really positive it's just a shame that it's taken three years uh, is this unalloyed good news or are there some caveats? I mean, it's definitely good news that we are joining as opposed to not joining. The fact that it's taken that long, I think, um, it has done real, real damage to Britain's scientific community. And let's like not forget that science and tech and innovation is like, firstly one of the things that Britain excels at on, on the world stage, the thing that we're really good at. And also one of the things that Rishi Sunak is really interested in and has said is going to be one of the drivers to get us out of this economic slump. So we've, we've lost all that time. We've lost a huge amount in terms of relationships, like scientific projects that didn't go ahead, researchers at British universities who weren't included in projects for, for three years because they weren't part of the programme and because... Uh, the projects that were going on, they didn't want to work with the British because it was too difficult. The other thing that Horizon did that was great was it was about um, scientists from different countries working together and often like moving countries to to work on projects together. And we're back in the programme, but we're not back in free movement. And again, like too many really highly accomplished scientists coming to Britain wasn't the key immigration issue that people were concerned about in 2016. If you poll the public and you go, would you like some top scientists to come here and do amazing research for Britain? Generally, they don't go, well, not if they're French. Um, but I'm not sure about that. You don't think so? No, no. I, think, I, I think there'd be a fairly big selection of people who go, not if they're French. Not certainly. if they're French. Okay. Yeah. But what if, what if they're German? Is that okay? Nah. <laughs> the hierarchy of scientists that will Swedish, accept. That's probably okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Nordics are fine. Nordic, Nord, Nordics are fine. Fine. But basically, um, we have like lost the ability to collaborate and bring talented, really talented, high-skilled people um, mm. to this country because we're so fixated on immigration. And that's really sad, but it's also kind of pretty dire from a productivity standpoint as yeah. well. Yeah. 